Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you ideal and practical diode approximations. Using these approximations, you can understand how to solve circuits using diode. So first, I will explain you ideal diode approximation. After that, I will explain you how practical diode approximations are there and by which how to solve circuits. So when you talk about ideal diode approximation, at that time, one thing that you should know. See, in forward bias, diode is considered as on and that will be acting as a short circuit. In reverse bias, diode will be considered as off and it will be acting like a open circuit. If you observe here, see, here we are having diode which is there in reverse bias. So, it is acting like a switch. It is off in reverse bias and it is on in the forward bias. And if you observe VI characteristics, then you see in forward bias with minor voltage increase huge current is flowing over here vertical line is there right so in forward bias immediately current will flow through diode and in reverse bias zero current is flowing that you can observe so even if you increase reverse bias voltage as it is acting like a switch which is off no current will flow through diode that is what the approximation which is there with ideal diode now let us try to understand few more approximations which is there with practical diode. So in second approximation of diode, we are considering built in potential. Like if you observe here, see diode will get turned on in forward bias, it will act as a short circuit. Diode will get turned off in reverse bias and it will act as an open circuit. But along with that, there will be built in potential or you can say potential barrier that is also referred as cut-in voltage. So that built-in potential that will be there in series with diode. So for silicon it is 0.7 voltage and for germanium it will be 0.3 voltage. Right. So here in reverse bias diode is acting as a open circuit. You can say it is off. Along with that in series you will be having built-in potential that is 0.7 voltage. In forward bias it will be on. Along with that, there will be built in potential that is 0.7 voltage. That is how things are there. And if you observe VI characteristics, then here there is only one difference that you can observe compared to ideal diode. What is that difference? See, here 0.7 voltage that will stay across diode in forward bias, right? And after that, huge current will flow. So that is how things are there. Otherwise, ideal. And this approximation that is same. You see in ideal, this characteristic is vertical over here in forward bias. And with this approximation of built-in potential, after 0.7 voltage, huge current rise will happen. So that is second approximation. Now let me explain you third approximation that is practical one. See, in third approximation, we will be considering linear resistance of diode. So, diode will get turned on in forward bias, it will act as a short circuit. Diode will get turned off in reverse bias, it will act as an open circuit. But along with diode, we will be considering built in potential and diode resistance. So, you can observe here equivalent circuit in which switch is there, right? In reverse bias, switch is off, in forward bias, switch is on. Along with that, we are having built in potential that is 0.7 for silicon, right? But along with that, in series, we are having resistance. That is diode resistance. Now, diode resistance is having multiple components. Like when you fabricate diode, at that time, we are having metallic junction at P side and at N side. So, that metallic junction, that is also having ohmic resistance. As well as, when you fabricate diode, at that time, with P type and N type material, there will be some resistance that resistance value of P and N material will go down if you increase doping concentration, right? But with lower doping concentration, practically that resistance will be there as well as junction resistance will be there, right? So there are multiple types of resistance which is there with diode. One is due to contact, second is due to material of P and N and third is there due to junction. We are considering in total resistance which is linear over here in approximation. So you can observe here in equivalent circuit along with switch, diode is a switch, 
right in forward bias it will be on in reverse bias it will be off but along with that there will be 0.7 voltage which is built in potential and in series with that there will be resistance that will be diode resistance so if you observe here vi characteristics so in forward bias after 0.7 voltage linearly current will increase practically that is not happening i have explained that in forward and reverse bias video practically how current increases exponential current will increase right like if you observe current equation i is equals to i not into e to the power minus v by eta vt minus 1 right so exponential growth that will happen in forward bias and i not is what i not is current due to minority carriers but here in this approximation we are considering this resistance as a linear resistance and because of that in forward bias as you increase voltage linearly current will increase right that is how approximations are there in reverse bias as it is off zero current will flow but practically i have told you there will be current due to minority carriers that current due to minority carriers in reverse bias that will be very less in terms of micro ampere or in terms of nano ampere current will flow but these are the approximations about which i am talking to you right now i hope you have understood how practical and ideal diode approximations are there and based on these approximations we used to solve circuits right the reason is every time we cannot use this formula to solve questions based on how current is flowing how voltage is there across some elements the reason is in circuits there are multiple elements at that time if you try to calculate all those things it will be a bit difficult to solve things in circuits so at that time what we do is we consider some approximations and based on that we try to solve out the questions i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video